What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Aaron Port Cask Finish. Stick around. So we're looking at another Aaron today, and I'm not sure exactly how many Aaron reviews I've already done on this channel, but definitely a few. And there's a simple explanation for that. I love the brand. I think Aaron is fantastic. Uh, they've really come into their own over the last few years, and they basically established themselves as a modern, high quality craft distillery. But as I've said in the past, Aaron is at their best when they give us age statements. And unfortunately, the whiskey we have today is a no age stated expression. Uh, this is their Port Cask Finish. Now, this is part of their Wine Finish series. Basically, it's a series of different whiskeys that have been finished in different types of wine casks, uh, similar to what you'll find with Glen Morangie. Um, these are all entry level expressions, and they're a great starting point for beginners who want to get to know how different types of wine finishes can affect the flavors in their whiskey. Obviously, we have a port finish in there. We also have a Sauternes and an Amarone finish. Uh, and these whiskeys, something of a mixed bag. None of them are favorites of mine. They're definitely at the lower end of Aaron's range. But to be fair, I haven't tried any of the new wine finishes since Aaron rebranded. A couple years back, Aaron put out these fancy new labels that you see here, and they also tinkered with some of their formulas. And this is actually the first wine finished Aaron that I've bought since that time. Now, I remember from that old range, I did think the port was my favorite. Um, I didn't much care for the Sauternes, not because it was bad, but I found it kind of boring. And the Amarone finish, I found cloyingly sweet. It was very sugary. Um, so yeah, this one was the best of the bunch. But that being said, I still didn't think it was a great whiskey. Now, none of those whiskeys were bad, but I did feel pretty indifferent towards them. So I'm approaching these new wine cask finishes with some, let's say, cautious optimism. Uh, I absolutely love Aaron. I know they can do great things. I love their 18. I love their 10 year old. There's a few other releases out there that are outstanding. So who knows? I might be impressed with these ones. Speaking more broadly, I do like port finishes, but it's an easy finish to mess up. Uh, sometimes they're well integrated, and sometimes that finish comes off tasting like cheap wine cooler, at least to me. But when done properly, you can get some really bright, sweet, indulgent notes in there. So why don't we see how it works in this one? Why don't we hop into a review here, see what this whiskey is all about, and in the meantime, if you can kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. Of course, we have an Aaron with us, and they usually give us good specs. Uh, like all the wine finish series, this one comes in with an ABV of 50%, and it is, of course, non chill filtered and naturally colored, just the way we like it. So you can take a look at our nice natural color here. We have kind of like a pink winey tinge to it. Uh, if you've seen any of my other reviews of Aaron bottles, you know I love these bottles. And the port one in particular with its darker color scheme is one of the more unique ones. Um, as usual, I absolutely love the presentation. Score here is going to be 5 out of 5. We've got non-chill filtered and naturally colored front and center on the label. We have our tasting notes down here, some braille embossings up here. And beyond that, absolutely no noise, no fluff, no stories, no legends, everything you need to know, nothing you don't. So it's another great looking bottle from Aaron, sits towards the front of my shelf. Let's try the nose. Um, fruity, definitely some alcohol to this. Uh, we're starting off with blueberries. We have some Concord grapes, like purple grapes, some blackberries in here, blood oranges, cherries, we got some cinnamon in here, and some earth. Now the palette. Okay, um, sweeter than the nose suggested. Definitely a lot of fruit in this. We have some sweet blueberries, some sweet red fruits in here, some peaches, some apples, uh, some plums in here, definitely some cherries again. And we have those sort of sweet berry flavored wine coolers and ice wine. Now the finish. Okay, uh, this is very much a continuation from the palette. I'm getting icing sugar. I'm getting more blueberries. I'm getting ice wine. Um, some white grape juice in here. Some peaches, plums, apricots. Uh, honey, white pepper, and maybe some like just indistinctive berry notes in here. Uh, finish would be medium in length. 
So if you like port, you're definitely getting a lot of port flavor in this. Um, you're getting lots of fruit, lots of mixed berries. Most of those flavors are going to be pretty nondescript though. We definitely have a lot of grape, we definitely have a lot of cherry in here, and we have a lot of blueberries. And I especially like that blueberry note, that's pretty cool. That's not a flavor you find too often in whiskey. So we got a very fruity whiskey here, there's lots of high pitched notes of like alcohol. There's even a little bit of citrus in this. Um, our port flavors are sweet, but they're never cloying. But the port is definitely at the fore in this whiskey, and then you have those base flavors behind it. Um, absolutely nothing dark or brooding in this whiskey. I'm getting sort of like an orchard on a sunny day kind of vibe from it. And that definitely suits the Aaron profile because I've always found Aaron to be such a bright and clean whiskey. That's exactly what I love about it. But I'm not sure the finish in this suits the house style quite as well as some other finishes do. And that's not to say that port in general doesn't suit Aaron. I'm talking more about this finish specifically. Um, I don't think they nailed the execution. This whiskey does feel a little bit rushed. There's definitely some things in here that don't work for me. Our port finish here is very sweet, it's very high pitched, and it makes like the top level of flavor. And then just underneath that level you have the Aaron base profile. The problem with this whiskey is those two layers don't really interact too much. They're not integrated. They feel like two separate things throughout the entire experience. So we have a layer of sweet port and we have Aaron underneath it and neither of those sets of flavors is bad. In fact, they're both pretty delicious. But the problem is there just isn't enough interplay between those two sets of flavors to give our whiskey enough complexity. So as it stands, this is not a complex whiskey. In fact, it's pretty simple. It's basically just port on top of Aaron and the two are not synchronized. So this is an okay whiskey if you want to just sip it and enjoy it casually. Uh, there definitely isn't very much in here if you want to like analyze it or break it down. And personally, I really like that part of the whiskey experience. You know, I do love a good wine finish. We get those indulgent fruity notes. We get that sweetness in there. I love it, but there does need to be enough complexity to keep me interested. So in a sense, it's just a matter of how you approach whiskey. Me being a snobby dickhead, I need my complexity, but this one does work as a casual sipper. Just because there isn't much interplay between the finish and the base layers doesn't mean that the whiskey is off balance. It just means that it's not very complex. And just because it's not very complex doesn't mean it's not going to be satisfying for a lot of people. So as far as I'm concerned, I do prefer whiskeys with a little bit more going on than this stuff. I think they should have spent a few more months, if not a few more years, in that port barrel. Just let some of those flavors really settle in together. As it stands, the stuff is okay. It makes an okay casual sipper. What I do like in this one is that it comes in at 50%. That does help us overlook some of its shortcomings. And tell you what, I don't like coming down on Aaron any more than you guys like hearing me come down on Aaron, but I do think this is representative of what a lot of people hate about no age stated whiskeys, which is to say a rushed production process, but then they try and compensate for that by giving us a higher ABV. Now, is that what happened with this whiskey? Maybe. So yeah, it is rushed. It does kind of illustrate what a lot of people don't like about no age stated whiskeys. And I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really have any strong opinions for or against no age stated whiskeys. Uh, a good whiskey is a good whiskey. And I wouldn't go so far as to say I don't care how you make it. I absolutely do. But I do think there's enough good no age stated whiskeys out there to justify their existence. Anyway, we're not going down that rabbit hole. Um, yeah, I wanted more from this Aaron. Uh, score here is going to be 80 three. Uh, it's not a very interesting whiskey for me, and I know that Aaron is capable of so much more than this. That being said, it's not a completely like uneventful, forgettable bore of a whiskey. Um, you'll be satisfied with this. It's sweet. It's, it's very pleasant, but yeah, it just doesn't have the complexity or the integration that I'm looking for. So, decent value here. All of these Aaron wine finishes are going to be pretty affordable. Not only that, it is nice to have an above average ABV. So, if you're looking for a casual sipper, something you don't have to think about too much, this one will fit the bill. I think most of you out there will find the price justified. So, yeah, value here is fine. All right, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried the Aaron? port finish? Have you tried any of their other wine finishes? How did you feel about them? And finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye guys.